Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Total Biscuit here with another short. What is this, you might ask? I found this when I was doing some re-rolling of the Worgen to see whether or not the change cinematic had been put in at the end of the first zone. It hasn't, so that was a bit of a waste of time, but I did find something that wasn't there before. It's a drop from one of the Worgen. The evil Worgen coming in to kill you and eat your face. It's called the Faded Journal, and it actually contains a very significant amount of lore. So what I thought I'd do, for those of you who are big into the lore and want to know more about the origin of the Worgen, I decided I'd do a reading of this one for you, because it's quite long, and it's got a lot of really good stuff in it. So, cue dramatic music. No, the other dramatic music. Thank you, much better. Day 1. A druid's gift is his freedom to embrace and explore all facets of nature. Malfurion so often spoke these words, I was once foolish enough to believe that he truly lived by them. Yet while my Shando spouted this freedom, he disgraced me and my fellow druids of the pack by banning our form. I can still recall with great clarity his angry tirades whenever he discovered us practicing in secret. The pack form cannot be controlled. It will consume you and endanger us all. The ignorance with which Malfurion passed judgment on us is infuriating. Does he not realize that the spirit of the wolf ancient Goldrin is by nature's grace within me and my pack brethren? We did not choose it, it chose us. To shun it would be to turn our back on nature itself. It only pains me that at a time like this, when our race is threatened by war with the vile satyr, Malfurion rejects us, the very druids who could turn the tide of battle in his favor. It matters little now. Today, my brethren and I will depart from Night Elf society forever, to begin a life anew in the wild. We will show our Shando's beliefs to be wrong, and prove that Goldrin's spirit can in fact be controlled. Day 7 Six nights have come and gone since we carved out our new homes in the heart of the forest. Our pack leader, Renthil, has taken charge over the community, and under his wise leadership, I have at last found true freedom. Each night we practice our form at the roots of a fallen tree, where we have placed Goldrin's Fang, a thing of beauty it is. Merely being in its presence seems to empower me. At times I wonder if the Wolf Ancient left this remnant of himself in the world as a gift to those who pursue his form. These nightly sessions have filled me with renewed confidence in my ability to harness Goldrin's spirit. Although Malfurion so often spoke of its dangers, even now we are proving him to be wrong. Day 12. There was an argument today. A seasoned druid named Thaldris laid claim to leadership of the pack over Renthil, and both druids settled the dispute in pack form. They circled one another for what seemed to be an eternity, mouths foaming and fangs bared until Thaldris lunged at Renthil and pinned him to the ground. Renthil honorably accepted his defeat and relinquished his leadership with no further violence. If only Malfurion could have witnessed the dignity with which Thaldris and Renthil acted on this eve. Day 23. Something strange has been happening of late. My brothers spend more and more time in pack form throughout the day. Many of them claim that it is a necessity to mastering the form, yet... I feel that is not the sole reason. An urge, primal in origin, grows inside of me. It is a desire that I can only sufficiently sate when I take on the pack form. I fear that the others feel it too. Day 28. Tonight, under the two moons, we ventured through the wild in pack form and felled three stags. So famished were my brethren and I that we simply ripped into the creatures, clawing and biting at each other while we feasted. Euphoria washed over me as I sank my teeth into the stag's raw flesh. Even if I had been without an appetite, gorging on the creature would have satisfied me. Day 38. First time out of pack form in seven nights. Live as a wolf like others, from one night to next. Pack leader Thaldris says night elf bodies are weak. All trust him. All follow him. If he saw me now, he would kill me. Goldrin's spirit consuming us, fighting it, feels just as wrong as giving in. Day 42. Still taste pack leader Thaldris' blood in my mouth. 
cannot recall details, only remember Thaldris taking Goldrin's fang from Fallen Tree, caught him dragging it into his den, and... It took two nights for Thaldris to come out. We were waiting. Fangs and claws and rage tore him apart. Fur and flesh everywhere. Only gnawed bones afterward. No leader now. Day 52. Much has come to pass of late, and I feel that at last I have regained a portion of my sanity. Five nights ago I left my den to discover that the other pack members were gathered around something, or as I soon discovered, someone. A night elf, whose scent I recognized as Ralar Fangfire, a druid of Malfurion's ilk. As one, we circled him, yet the intruder held his ground. I smelled not a hint of fear on him, despite the fact that he remained in night elf form. His arrogance was quite infuriating. Three of my enraged brothers charged Ralar, and the newcomer took on the pack form and bested the challengers with little effort, yet he did not kill them. In that instant, I became aware of a difference between him and us. We had become savages, scarred, lean, and disheveled. Ralar, however, was powerful, majestic, and still rife with Goldrin's essence. When no others dared challenge him, Ralar took on his night elf form and spoke. In a tirade that reminded me of Malfurion, he berated us for becoming mindless animals and squandering what he referred to as the purity of Goldrin's essence. Yet, unlike my former Shando, Ralar also promised to teach us the true path to harnessing the wolves' ancient spirit. I sensed tremendous rage in his voice, tempered by self-control that I had somehow lost in recent weeks. One by one, we all left our pack forms. I can only guess that my brethren, like I, felt a strange affinity to this newcomer, as if he were a messenger from Goldrin himself. Valar has since begun teaching us as he had promised, though he no longer answers to his given name. Rather, he now refers to himself simply as Alpha Prime. Gadrin Moonfang, Druid of the Pack. <laughs>